takes a lot of nerve. A lot like a race car driver to maneuver one of these horses around these barrels. Well, you know, in the arena conditions here, it's not a very big arena. So the times are going to be fast. And these horses have to run really hard into the wall. They come out, you don't really even see your first barrel until you're in the arena. The conditions, they're a little dangerous, but it is awesome. And Jana Bean, the first barrel racer, comes out. Kind of comes out of shape around that first barrel. Gets it, knocks it over. That would be a five-second penalty. And, of course, that's like breaking the barrier in the time of this. It's not going to help. No, it's going to really take you out of that round. So keep in mind, the arena record here is 13.37. Taylor Jacob, who's not here this year, set that a year ago. Take a look at the rules. Now, Samantha Lynn gets ready to go. Well, Samantha, this is her first rank in her park. You know, her dad, along with his guy, is Bill Lyon, probably the best all-around cowboy ever. He won the average of the bull riding and the cow trophy the same year as the rank in her park. That's how good he is. And, you know, a little trouble right there, but I like that yellow horse. He's got a lot of power. Samantha Lyon puts one barrel down. She's going to wind up at 19.34. We're still looking for our first clean run so far. Tulip Churchill getting ready to go. We talked about that alley. And they, these barrel horses, they are, uh, their, their logo goes pretty high. Well, you know, when you look at all the bloodlines that are involved, there's no deeper. You'll, you'll know this. You know, there's so much dash for cash. This is a free to fling horse, and that's a real important bloodline in the barrel racing business right now. And she's got a great run started. She can get around this third barrel, and she's going to now watch the clock. I think we're going to definitely see a lead change and a good one. 14.20 for Teresa Churchill. 14.20 is going to move her to the lead for a clean run that we have seen so far. Claudia Pierce next to go. And you approach up that alley. It's so important to have things start in good shape. Okay, a little wide on that first barrel. A lot of that is deep horses. There's no target there. When they come in there, they have about three strides to set up that first turn. Good second and a real good third. So, Charlie, riding the little horse she calls low, 1429. That's going to put a second now on the ramp. Trying to take advantage of that good ground early on. So, Tulip Church Churchill at 1420 is still the top. Comes Christy Lawson. One barrel down. Not what she wanted. You know that little horse. That, that's a great horse, moving that she has. And just kind of came back over the top of herself. She got a little out of shape in her saddle. I think that's maybe what caused her hitting that first barrel. Oh, and that's a game that's changer. Five seconds. Oh yeah. Thirteen eighty nine. That's a game changer for her because that would really move her to the lead in this go around. But doesn't happen for her. Cassie Dennison gets ready to go first. Trip to the rank of the NFR for her. 28th in the world a year ago, but made a big jump. Fifth in the world this year, so that's climbing the ladder. Let's see if she can get off to a good start at the top of the map. Well, this is the horse she calls Eagle. This is the one that brought her here. Do good turn. This is a long striding horse. It's a little deceiving. This horse is running a lot faster than you fear. Three good turns in 14.59. That's going to put her at the top four. Here comes Sherry Turvey. Won the world championship a year ago. Four-time world champion. Won in 95, 99, 2010, and again last year. And I tell you, I love watching this horse go. You know, a little wide on that first barrel before it makes up for a second. But man, nice. Two good turns now. Stingray, this is that little mare that she's won the world title on. 1435. Let's put her in there at third right now. Now, the Ram Top Gun winner a year ago. The Ram Top Gun award goes to the contestant who wins the most money in a single event. Sherry Turvey had a great year, 14.35, first best. Christy Lawson next to go. Two times qualified at the National High School Finals Rodeo, a little stumble. Down comes barrel number one. You know, and that stumble caused that. She just bumped that second barrel, but it, you know, the whole run kind of fell apart. That horse stumbled just a little bit on the front side of that barrel and came back out of shape. That's really what made her hit it. Would have been 14.19, but you got to have five seconds. So a little bit of a shaky start for the ladies in barrel racing. We've seen a lot of barrels already come down. And Mary Walker gets set for 2012 World Champion. Back at a great 2013 as well. Latte, one of the best horses in the division, is trying to get him lined up in that alley. And here we go. You know, I expect big things for Mary Walker. I thought Latte looked so good this fall. And it looks like a good start. Oh, you can see just came back over the top of that second barrel. And she, too, is going to pick up a five-second penalty. So... Oh boy, this is one of the first performances, being the first performance, of 
spent a lot of barrel shit already. Boy, that's somewhat surprising. It kind of changes things as you get deeper into the week. So, Michelle McLeod ready to go. Second time she's made it to the ring for NFR. Blind into that first barrel. All right, Michelle. Good job getting around it. Came out a little low, though. This is a horse, a little mare, I think she rides called Sky. She rode uh, slick by design most of the season. Not riding here, 1424. That'll put her second now in the round. Yeah, nice and aggressive set start barrel. So 1420, still has the lead. 1424 now second best. Brittany Diaz ready to go. Two trips to the Wrangler in a far last time was 2011. And here's a, here's a go around that's a little bit wide open. Great ride hard to that first barrel. Oh, great turn, too. You can see the forward momentum. This looks good. If she can leave this third barrel up. She's got a chance maybe to take the lead. This should be a sub-14. Rudy firing. Oh, 14-47. That looks a little faster. Pretty fast in the deep, too. Yeah, maybe a little bit tricky with the ground. Maybe a little different than what we think. Control working down just a little bit. Never can tell. Let's see if the hunter gets ready to go. Nancy. Comes in the top five of the world standings. Carly is the name of this big sorrow. Go around win here. 14.09, the winning time there for Fallon Taylor. 